slacking. It's your boy J Dog back with another video. In today's video, as you see by the title, we are reacting to the strangest things people are addicted to eating. That's right, guys. We're gonna be reacting to weird things people like to eat. I did start from the beginning, as you see. I watched the whole thing tell time and I said, you know, it's time to make a video because this is this is weird. So before we get in the video, guys, I want you guys to subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss more content. Anyways, I'm J Dog, and let's go. Ain't that? I mean, ain't that strange? I'm Tempest. I'm 19 years old. I'm in college. Tempest. And I'm addicted to eating laundry detergent and soap. Why would you eat soap, you Every psycho? morning I do actually wake up and go right down to the laundry room. I mean, when it's you get in trouble, man, I take you eat soap fingers, and it's nasty. But I you guess. like it. Okay. And you're it's eating laundry like detergent? Tastes like... You know what that can do to you? Sweet. Kill Salty, you. sour, bitter. And your body can't even digest so that. So this will last me like 15 Come minutes. Come on, dude. And I want some more. Growing up, I've always loved the smell of laundry detergent, and during the times I mean, I, stressed, I like the smell, I but it smell you shouldn't eat detergent. it. Just because I like the smell like, doesn't mean I down. go eat it. Ooh, she's been a dick. She started eating six months ago. I feel like I'm supposed to what? eat. You could have never ate it in because your life. It feels so. You were right. doing so good, and then six There's months some come, dangers and you can you've been eating it for six months. Those could include things like and before you started eating it, it could have stayed that way. You could have not been eating it your entire life. She does eat soap. Man. I eat the soap. Don't lick it. I wash my hands. I eat the soap when I take a shower. I uh. even eat the soap sometimes, like in my bed. When I think about the idea of the soap and naughty detergent cleansing me, I basically mean I feel refreshed. And so if I feel refreshed on the outside, why not feel refreshed on the inside? Who eats plastic bags? My name is Robert. I'm 23. I live with my fiance. No! I'm addicted to eating plastic bags. Not Robert! Come on, Robert. What do you think you're doing? Come on, Robert. You need to be My eating like meat, the, dude. The bags like meat, a hot dog, hamburger, pizza. Just eat something realistic. A whole bag. Not something that's an item that and morning, food. Best part of my not day. a food. You're not eating the food, dude. Eating things a little weird. You're not I eating food. Years that each color and you're putting your fiance is on different taste and This right here is my favorite because boy, I don't think I think I think your fiance wants to you know break up with you. Like, no, I don't want to date a boy delicious. that eat plastic. Heaven. <laughs> he started when he was about seven years old, and, it and has he's been eating it since he was seven. Every time I see him, he's always chewing. You're a grown man. When I run out of my morning stash, I usually drive around the neighborhood and somebody find me some more plastic bags. All right, we got two bags right here. And you're going to eat it off the ground, dude. Well, when I find one, I'll, I'll take the plastic bag off and leave, leave the newspaper there. You never know. Maybe a dog pooped on that. Maybe a dog pooped on it and you're eating. Sometimes. Uh, I get nervous and that somebody's gonna come outside and see me, but I have to have plastic. That guy thinks you're a weirdo. I'm set Never do it in public. No, I ain't got to go out and look for any more plastic. That's a good day. He probably doesn't know you eat it. He just thought that you were psycho for getting that. Sixty thousand? Are you insane? How are you still alive? My need to eat plastic has grown over the years now to where I also like grocery Yeah, you're going to the store to just bags. go eat it. That's it. It's really all you're going to call that store your restaurant. Like some kind of vegetables or fruit. You want some apples? Yeah, dude. Eat apples. 
a not grocery a store bag is a lot tougher than a newspaper bag. Not you a bag. Smaller pieces and swallow it easier, but it's they even think you're rough. weird. Would you like a paper or plastic? Plastic. Not paper. Sometimes plastic. Like a day and a half you want plastic, not paper. So much plastic. I'm marrying someone that eats plastic. It's embarrassing. I get that. Oh, liver damage. I'm telling you, dude. I am telling you. I don't think he realizes how serious it is. Liver problem, he dude. He has to stop before it gets worse or something terrible happens. You know what doesn't give you liver problems? I think it's Fruit. something she should accept and get over because I'm not going to stop eating plastic. And real food. My name's not Teresa. The I'm junk 44 years bed. old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. You're nasty, And I'm man. addicted to eating rocks. It's not easy I don't think to I would be bite it. You're gonna break your teeth. You're gonna lose all your teeth. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than. You know there's years. germs on rocks. She was initially. Animals poop on rocks. I was yes. Out walking one day. Animals just I poop no wherever they can. Into it they poop on the it, dirt. Oh my god. Once I did that. And if there's rocks, they're pooping on rocks too. Now, oh my Teresa goodness, you're eating. You're eating poop. Eating rocks. It's the grittiness of it. And that's not good and for your the teeth. the earthy taste. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. You need I'm very worried help. about Teresa. When your body can't yeah. handle what you you're need to go to rehab. It, it's gonna rebel against you. Teresa's favorite type of rock is a mixture of several minerals, including granite. Does it matter what rock she it is? She uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. This is about the size I like it because Eating dirt um, it's is not as disgusting. Hard to I would normally take a piece is. like this. But you probably ate dirt as a beginner. And then as a pro, right you switch to rocks, man. Put the whole piece in my mouth and... and get the earthy taste off of it. This gives me the shivers. Two pounds of rock a day? Seven thirty pounds a I'm year? Not ashamed of it, so it doesn't really bother me. I eat it at home. It would bother me as soon as I eat. If I were to take a bite of it, I'm like, nope, that's disgusting. I'm done. I am not eating that ever again. When I'm nervous or upset, it does like bring me down. You eat rocks when you're upset, okay? When my mom eats rocks, it's kind of like she goes to hey that guy's name's robert too to that's wild the last dude's her. name was robert teresa even drives up to an hour away to reach the rocks that make her mouth water you go all the way there for rocks one of my places just to get rocks, rocks and then you'll fly like, back home it's actually in the dirt banks and and if you drive really there for an hour man up. you gotta drive an hour back other people have told me to worry you just about come here for animals stupid ideas. in the bathroom and things like that, or oil that leaks, or you know what they anything say. that might get on the rocks, but I don't care to wash them. Teresa's addiction to eating rocks hasn't come without a price. Why do you eat rocks, seriously? Can you explain how it started and what made you get into rocks? Like, yeah, you're looking at your teeth because... You probably damaged your teeth, and now you need to go to the dentist. And, yeah, you probably got to get your, all your teeth taken out. I had a tooth break before from eating rocks. I, I told you. If you eat rocks, it's going to break your teeth. And guess what? That is exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. I tried to tell you. I tried to warn you. Few choking experiences while driving the car. Actually, pieces lodged in my throat, and it scared me. I've had a lot of stomach pain. Yeah, that should scare I've you. I've had blood in my stools and trouble with going to the bathroom. I've told my mom. Okay. You have trouble using the bathroom. That's because you're constipated because of all that rocks you've been eating, dude. You need serious help, man. Many times, what could happen to her? She's taking it pretty lightly, I think. He actually aggravates me. Anytime he finds my rocks, he throws them away. Don't throw them away, please. Yeah, throw them away. Don't I think it's going to take all throw of them us, away. her friends, her family, 
everyone to say. You need to put these away. I'm not ready to stop, and I don't think there's anything that will make me stop. Unless you go to rehab. My know? name is Allison. I'm 19 years old. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm addicted to eating rubber tires. The rubber tire pieces. You're basically taste eating gas really and dirt. Like a shock to your taste buds. Oh, it's amazing. It's not amazing. For the past six years, Allison has been addicted to eating tires. Morning, There's no need noon, for that. Night, she snacks on the black rubber, consuming up to 14 pounds per month. Her addiction is so intense, she even stashes tire shavings throughout her house. The texture of the rubber pieces is kind of like beef jerky, and your teeth like springing off of it. It's a workout for your dog. I think eating tires is weird, period. It's, it's weird, yeah. I mean, it's crazy eating that rubber. Eating over two feet of tire shaving. More than 50 car This is tires. the size I like to eat. I get three or four. At least you're not eating the whole together. Well, you're and pretty much eating the whole thing. Except, I'll know, chew them until they lose the like, chemical taste. And I swallow oh, them. Oh, I feel the shiver. It this doesn't is matter just about the time of the shiver. day. It's just whenever I need it. Making sure the clean is kind of a concern for me because I don't want to get sick from something that might have been on the floor. Well, you're probably gonna be sick and by now. You probably fiance, already got sick. You probably Allison got cancer. Has an endless supply of tire shavings to feed her addiction. My fiance works at a tire plant, and pretty much every time he comes home, he has some where it's in Hey, his buddy, pants. when you're at work, do not listen to her. Just do not bring tires. Even if she tells you, "Hey, can you go get me tires?" No, like do not listen. Rubber glue. And I have the goosebumps because of I've this. Also tried dog chew toys. No. The rubber's harder. Their spit Six goes ago, on there. Allison's They're slobber. As a replacement for gum. I saw some rubber, and I was like, this could save Ooh. money because it's free. So I chewed it, and I don't think I've bought much gum since. That is ridiculous. <sighs> Toxic chemicals! Oh my! I knew it! I told you! I but told you you could get cancer right, from that. Comes out and there I no knew it. it. I knew it all along, and I I know I know what to eat and what's not good to eat. And that right there is not okay to eat. So I got that right, and I feel feel very great about that. You didn't get a PhD in medical, so hush. I don't see any health issues. I don't see any money being lost. I don't see it hurting Oh, just because anybody. you don't see it right now, I it'll come later on in your life. Tires, so there's no way I'm gonna stop. Oh, you're gonna need to stop. Or we gonna be calling the cops on you. Yeah. Alright, well, yeah, those psychos are really ridiculous. Um, and why would you eat that stuff? Guys, do not try this at home. Do not be eating... This, the only thing you should be eating are tacos, pizza, apples, anything that you're actually able to eat. Not something that is going to kill you. Like, come on. You need to get your head in the game, people. In, the vid in some of the clips I watched off camera, where guy was, was a guy eating glass, a woman eating her house. Yeah, she ate bricks off her house. And then we see this girl eating mattress. And then she eats mattress. She ate her own mattress and she has nowhere to sleep now because she ate her own mattress. So guys, do not be eating that stuff. And same with me, I'm not going to be eating that stuff because yuck. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and... Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more content. Anyways, I'm J Dog and I'm out. Peace. Kick it, Jackie Chan.